Don, you, you are so elegant. So welcome everyone. We're so glad that everyone's here to join us for the wedding of Dawn and Wendy. Thank you for coming. Everybody give them a big hand. Yeah. This is so exciting. This is a holy ceremony and it's established this day on behalf of Dawn and Wendy to affirm the bond of covenant love that they have between each other. And they have invited their dearest, closest friends and what they consider their family. And it's, a, it's an honor and it's a privilege for all of us to be here and stand as witnesses to this union. Because this is a God-ordained union and it is incredibly anointed and special. So as you can see, Dawn and Wendy have different candles in their hands. Each one of these candles represents the flame of their life. It represents not only the light of Jesus Christ that's in their hearts, but it also represents the fire and baptism of the Holy Spirit that they have in their lives. And as each of them, if it weren't so windy outside today, as each of them would have their candles lit, they together bring their own light and their own flame of the multiplication of the light of Jesus Christ in their hearts and of the fire of the Holy Spirit is going to be a special, powerful, exponential anointing, not only for their personal lives, but also for their joint ministry together to worship the Lord. So it's a very significant act, prophetic act of their union to bring the fire of God to this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God some glory for that. Amen. Hallelujah. So, um, Right now, I would just, Lord, I just thank you so much for this special day for Don and Wendy. I thank you so much for gathering the people that you are have near and dear to their hearts here to celebrate with them. I thank you so much, Lord, for the calling and purpose and destiny that you have on their lives. I thank you that you have ordained this union and you are going to anoint this union and use them powerfully for your glory. And Lord, I just ask that you bless them and anoint them, increase your glory on their lives, and um, just bless this marriage of Don and Wendy and let your powerful love flow through their very beings. Just flood them with your powerful love and your glory and let it extend outward to every person with whom they come in contact. We ask, Lord, that you bless their marriage with peace and happiness and joy and that the love that they have for each other would be fruitful and it would multiply for your glory and for their mutual joy. And we ask that in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. So while the commitment of marriage begins with the two of you today, its effects are going to radiate far beyond just the two of you. It's going to extend out to your family, to your friends, to your ministry, to everything, it, the, your entire sphere of influence is going to be radically touched by the powerful love and blessing of God on your lives and on this marriage. Hallelujah. Are you videoing? So when this commitment is no, made today, I want you to make it with sincerity and I want you to make it and live it to its fullest in your life. Live this commitment every single day to its fullest. And as you do, it's gonna lead you into the richest, most rewarding and powerful love relationship that you've ever known and ever experienced. Hallelujah. So today signifies the creation of a new establishment of a new home, of a new family, of a new day, a new ministry, a new anointing. And um, may you both be filled, hallelujah, with each other's love and with friendship and may you both be overjoyed by the promises that you're about to make the joy of the Lord just overtake and overwhelm you and let your life together be filled with the love of God his peace his joy and his goodness and his blessings 
And so we just ask this in Yeshua's name and we pray that you will keep Yeshua at the very center and heart of your relationship and marriage. So I have to ask you to make um, a decision in the front of your family and witnesses. Do you present yourselves willingly and of your own accord to be joined together in marriage today? Yes, yeah. we do. Hallelujah. So I really felt like led that the Lord wanted me to read a certain scripture. And it's a scripture of the bride and you're all very familiar with it. It's Revelation 19, five through nine. This is the King James Version. And a voice came out of the throne saying, praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard as it were the voice of a great mad multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him glory. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints gratefulness and of commitment and each of these two individual containers contains the salt this one represents Wendy's life this one represents Dawn's life and as they pour the salt into the container in the center they are literally combining their two lives individual lives together as one and they are becoming intertwined in unity intimacy and oneness as complete one and God is joining them together in oneness and so if you notice you guys can go ahead and pour the salt as you notice when they're pouring it together slowly um, the salt is mixing and there is no way for us to decide now which salt is Wendy's and which salt is Don's they can never be divided again. Once they are joined together in unity, it is settled in heaven, and they are eternally bound with marriage covenant. Did we spill it? No, I just Oh, yeah, okay. So, because marriage unites the two as one, you can clearly see that no longer are they gonna be able to be divided because the two of them have now become one flesh. Hallelujah. So are you ready now to exchange your vows? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> well, let's do it. All right. So do you have um, rings on your fingers? <laughs> yep. Okay. Just making sure. So Don, I want you to, uh, Wendy, can you put your flowers down please? Yes. Yeah. Just set okay. them on the table. Beautiful. And I want you two to hold hands and face each other so everyone can see. Dawn, do you take Wendy to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony, to love, honor, comfort, and keep in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Good job. Wendy, do you take Don to be your husband, to live together in holy matrimony, to love, honor, comfort, and keep in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. All right, so Don, repeat after me. I, Don, I, Don, take you, Wendy, take you, Wendy, to be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amen. Now, Wendy. Amen. Now, Wendy, repeat after me. I, Wendy. I, Wendy. Take you, Don. Take you, Don. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse, for, better, for, worse, for richer for poorer, for richer, poor, poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health to, love and to, cherish, to love and to cherish, 
For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Alright, take your rings, Don. You can take yours first. Um, before you put it on, hold on just a second. The wedding ring, can you hold yours up? Just hold it up. This wedding ring is a symbol not only of eternity, but of eternal love. It's a sign of a spiritual bond which unites these two hearts with endless love, and it's a token of your love for each other and your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul. So, Don, as you place the ring on Wendy's finger, say, Wendy, Wendy I, give you this ring I give you this ring as a token and pledge, a token and pledge of, my constant faith of my constant faith and abiding love. And abiding love. Wendy, you say, Don. Don. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a token. As a token. And pledge. And pledge of my constant faith. My constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. So as Don and Wendy have declared their love and covenant vows to each other before God and man, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Lord Jesus Christ, and in accordance with the laws of the state of South Carolina, it is my honor. And my privilege to pronounce that Wendy and Dawn, you are husband and wife. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've been waiting nine months to kiss this woman. So I don't, I'm not sure I end up giving that. As a married couple, they're going to take Holy Communion together. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so, Father, we just thank you for the body that was broken for us. We thank you for your body, Lord. We thank you for your blood that was shed, Lord. We thank you for the beauty of all the riches of your glory in Christ Jesus through receiving and partaking heavenly spiritual body of life. Thank you, Jesus. We can feed each other if you want to. Oh, wow. <laughs> and Dawn, why don't you give her a drink? You can guide her. There you go. That's good. And then we need to get her. Right. That's awesome. To present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Can we can we pray for you guys? Sure. Before we dismiss, I would like for anyone, everyone, to at least stretch their hands towards Don and Wendy, and let's pray over them. And if there's anyone who really feels like the Lord is giving them a word to bless them, to encourage them, and to um, put a seal. Um, when we were in worship earlier, the presence of the Lord was so strong and so powerful. And what I, one thing I did see that I feel like the Lord wants me to share with you is that I saw him establishing the tabernacle of the Lord right in the room while you were leading worship. And I heard him say, get ready for the um, laser light performance on the Star Wars, of the Star Wars kind, that the level of glory will be a spectacle. The level of glory that is going to be released through the worship unto the Lord because it's holy and pure. He is going to release his light and his splendor and his majesty and his glory. And it will be a spectacle. And it will draw people to him. Hallelujah. I feel like the Lord is saying, I've knit you together for my glory and my honor and my praise. And he's blessing you this day with a great love for each other. Amen. Amen.
I have a scripture the Lord gave me in the worship center for them. It's Jude 24 and 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, forever. Amen. 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 Word for you this afternoon. Can you speak up? From Song of Solomon 2, verse 10 and on. My beloved spoke, and he said unto me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter is past. <laughs> Yea, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of birds is come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth her green figs. And the vines with the tender grape give a good smell. Arise, my love, my fair one. And come away. Amen. Very good. Thank you so much. <coughs> Lord. I got one verse when we were, and Can the wind up? was really blowing. It looked like the trees were clapping their hands. Oh, yes. Yes. So, um, Isaiah 55 12, for you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you. And all the trees of the field shall clap their feet. Awesome. Yeah. That's beautiful. What an audience. That's huh? awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I think yeah. Yeah. you a beautiful union with the fire of love. Yes. And you, I bless you with the fire that you're going to love yes. and enjoy <laughs> life together and minister to the lord minister to people but be full of love and mercy and happiness Amen. You that word, well i just feel the power of god i see the cross between us and like we're the you know part of the cross <laughs> it's coming down it's just going to be explosive so we welcome that from god Amen. <laughs> I, I hear the word saying he's going to use his kingdom good amen, amen. thank, thank you. you yes thank you yes. i pray for you guys yeah So I saw a uh, saw two rings in the other, but they were steel. So I just feel like strength in the bond. Yes! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. To God. Glory out to God! I worship you.